Okay, so I just wanted to get everyone a little bit of a market update month over month from December to January and see how we're heading into the new year in our key market areas of Guelph Aramosa, Erin Hillsburg, and Paulton Hills. So I'm looking at detached properties only, and I'm actually going to break it down by individual markets. So for Halton Hills detached, we saw 36 units sold in January versus 21 in December. So that's about 15 more units sold there. The average purchase price decreased at 1.5%. We did see an increase on the days on market on average to 21.9. So 43 days on market versus 21 in December. Uh, and the list to sale ratio actually decreased a little bit, two and a half percent. So it was 98% in December, 96% in January. So that is actually what the property is listed for versus what it actually sells at. Okay. Now for Aaron Hillsburg, we actually saw five units sold in January versus four. So only one more unit sold. We did see an average price decrease of 3.3% month over month. We also saw about 6.6 .6 less days on market. So it went down 71 in December and 64 in January. We also saw no change in the list to sale ratio. On average, it was 96% and stayed that way for both months. Now, Welfare Amosa, we saw four units sold in January, only two in December. So actually an increase there. We also saw an increase in the average purchase price, 2.6% higher in January than December. We saw a little bit longer days on market, unfortunately, 34 over 11. So that's about a 23.8% increase. And unfortunately we saw a decrease in the list to sale ratio as well, 93% versus 98%. So that was about 4.8% decrease. So those are the highlights. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And of course, if you want some details on your specific property or your specific area, please give us a call today. Thanks for watching.